do do da 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 do 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 da 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 do do You're sweet like ice cream, baby. You know me like ice cream. Um, so what is white ice cream? Ice cream is basically about toxic love, and in life, like a lot of times, we get into situations and relationships. Even it doesn't even have to be romantic, but just like day to day relationships when where people manipulate us or where people are not good for us but because there's something they bring to us that we enjoy it can be the thrill it can be their company something um so we stay in it so basically that's what ice cream is about just talking about someone who is no good for you but like you enjoy them like they're sweet like ice cream that's one thing also like i'm lactose intolerant and i love ice cream so we're just like oh hey, baby. You're so hmm it's not a someone, it's more like a concept that I was building at that time. Um, Cause like um, throughout last year, I put out music that had to deal with like toxic relationships based off of things I had seen in the past, things I'd experienced. So I don't think the song is directed at one person per se. It might be, have been directed at most people, most people, people that have been alive in my life, you know, different times. But it was more of a concept than a person. You're sweet like ice cream, baby. Um, my favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry cheesecake. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I was an artist, that would be either an A&R or an artist management manager, actually, because I think I'd love to manage. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> um, I think my music is for melancholic people, you know, people who are always like deep in thoughts a lot of times because I feel like people who like are deep, I guess, or are like emotional can relate to the sounds I make. Also, people who love like soul music, jazz, funk, because like I always know, like, even like just today, I just saw a tweet about me and they were like, oh, name an artist whose music you enjoy. No, who people swear is dope, but like you don't scare it yet. So I'm like, really do it. like, oh, mine is Lee Donnie. And I'm like, two years ago, I'd have been really sad about that. But then I realized over the years that, you know, everybody's cup of tea and that's okay. So my music is for those people who listen to it and can relate to it and enjoy it. But if you can't, that's okay. There's so many artists around. <laughs> Um, I don't know, like, I don't know if I like, I mean, Ote is a word, like, it's cool, you know what it is. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm the queen of that, but, like, if I am, I mean, everybody should just be working hard. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't have much to say about that. Um, like, like I said earlier, like, my song, my music is for who is for. You know, there's some people who listen to Leg Bebe and all these songs, and they still want to go home and listen to Mellow Vibes. You know, I listen to all these songs like once in a while, but like I still have the people I listen to all the time. Um, so like for me right now, I'm just trying to stick to myself, like stick to the way I feel and stick to the type of music I create and hope and pray that, you know, it works out in the long run. Because I feel like there's a sense of awakening in Nigeria now where people are getting fed up of the norm and they're beginning to become more receptive of different sounds of music. So I'm just hoping that as long as I continue to get grow and get better, um, I'll get to the right ears. You're so sweet, I think I fancy you with me. If this is real, I know it can be. Asha and Yaka. You make believe. You're sweet like ice cream. I look up to Emma. I look up to. Black magic. Okay, okay. So to vibe.ng for having me. I had a great time. It was very informative. I like you guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>